Hi, I'm Pia, brought to you by DigiKey. This week it is Hirosei, Lady Ada. What is the new product introduction of the week this week? Okay, so this week we're going to be talking connectors, connectors from Hirosei. And I thought actually, like, you know, this is Valentine's Day and we're doing the stream. And so oh. one thing I thought was people often ask, how do you pronounce the name of this company? Is it High Rose? The answer is no. It's Hirosei. Just think of David Bowie, oh. Heroes. Hirosei. Um, and you probably know this company, even if you don't know this company, because they are the ones who invented the UFL connector, uh, which is basically used for all RF devices. It's a really well-designed connector that allows you to, um, connect up to like, five or six gigahertz, uh, antennas, um, on a pick and placeable com uh, connector that is, uh, reconnectable multiple times. Uh, I looked up the pen. It was in 1993 with a beautiful diagram. Um, so Hirosei is, you know, they've, they've been known for a very long time for making very high quality connectors. Um, but this week we're going to talk about uh, the connector, the DF40 series, which we first saw on the Intel Edison. If you remember the Intel Edison. I do. On the bottom there, they had a connector. And this was a like very small single board computer that I think it predates the Raspberry Pi. Um, and uh, it had uh, a connector that would let it connect to a main board. Um, we actually carried the connector and, and you know, we carried um, boards that it would plug into. And then more recently, it's um, been used on the Raspberry Pi compute module. Um, so, you know, this is single board Linux computers seem to like this connector. Uh, so on the bottom of the CM4, the CM3 was like a SIM, uh, like a memory out, uh, format but there weren't enough pins um on the cm4 there's two 100 pin connectors and then you can connect it to this main board and what i think is interesting about this is that the these two connectors are the only connectors for the compute module um and yet you get two hdmi outputs that i think can do like 4k a piece um ethernet uh usb high speed um micro sd card with like you know uh high speed um SDIO connectivity, uh, power, PCIe, uh, you can do um, DPI, TFT display output, uh, two um, uh, CM, D, DS, C, CSI camera connectors and two DSI connectors. So like a lot of very high speed um, data interfaces, multiple video camera, ethernet interfaces, but also, and PCIe, but also the power for the module is uh, comes through these connectors. Um, by the way, if you want to create your own, um, Sean Hemel with DigiKey did a great tutorial on creating your very own um, breakout board for the CM4. Um, so, you know, when you look at the specs for this connector, what's really neat about this connector is it does like a lot, like it does more than you expect. Like for example, it can do um, up to 30 volts AC or DC. So like most connectors that are that small and fine pitch, you know, maybe they're rated for like six volts, 12 volts or something, but this can go up to 30. And the rated current uh, is also pretty high, 0.3 amps, I am assuming that's per pin. And then of course, if you need more current, if you, you know, for the CM4, you need more current, like two or three amps um, because of the, uh, the processor you have, you just have multiple pins in a row, you know, like four power pins or four ground pins. So you can, you know, basically triple the amount of current. And then the um, performance is it's actually spec for USB 3.1, uh, MIPI, SATA, PCIe with a transition rate of uh, 10 gigabits per second. So it's designed for high speed and high power, and it can do high current, which is where like you get basically a three in one connector because normally you'd have to have um, you know, one connector for the high speed stuff that's like designed for, you know, differential high speed signals and then another one maybe for the power connectivity and then, you know, maybe another one if you have, uh, you know, high voltages coming through. Um, compare this to, um, you know, the, the 2 by 20 connector on the Raspberry Pi Classic and other single board computers, you know, you're going to have this extra height. Like this is the slimmest connectivity you can get. It's still like 8, 10 millimeters high. Um, and also every time you remove it, you risk bending the pins, uh, which kind of sucks. So one of the things that's nice about this connector is you don't, you know, it's designed specifically for um, the pins are inside, they're protected, and there's this groove 
so that when you plug it in, it only really, like, there's no way to be off by one set of pins. So you're not going to, like, crush the pins. And then when you remove it, as long as you um, remove them and place them parallel and flat and you push down in the center, um, the connector is rated for at least 30 connect, you know, connections. And they even say, like, you know, try to be careful. Try not to wedge it from side to side. But, you know, it it is... We will not fail instantly when you do that. So they're like, please try not to, but you know, you can rock it a little bit back and forth. And I thought I'd actually just show the connector if we go on uh the overhead here. So this is the compute module, and you can see like this is each a hundred pin connector, very, very fine pitch. Doesn't take up a lot of room, but does allow um a lot of expansion. And then, you know, um you know, line it here and then I'll plug it in. So when you when you Plug it in, you can sort of feel it kind of clicks into place before even the contacts make contact. And then there's this really nice, satisfying, like soft plug. You can feel it tactilely when it's plugged in. You know it's it's connected in nicely. Okay. Uh where were we? Okay. So oh actually, sorry, can you go back one one more? Um so one thing to note is uh oh to I meant to the overhead. Apologies. I want to I remember why. I want to show the height. So um, I think this is like the one, the two millimeter height. So the height of the um, connector can vary. You have both the uh, socket and plug side. And so you can mate and match different heights for one side of the connector. And it can be as low as 1.5 millimeter um, or as high as four millimeters. Although note, not every pinout is available in every stacking height. So you might have to have like more pins if you want. Like the higher you go, it looks like, you know, they're like, we don't have everything in, in the 4.0. You only have like 50 or higher, uh, probably also because you have to have mechanical stability um, for those heights. Um, and this is just showing, this is like a little diagram that shows the variations in height. So four millimeters is like quite, quite high. You can definitely get a lot of components, inductors, maybe even a USB connector underneath there. Um, they also have a shielded version, uh, which has ground shielding connection. Although with that one, it doesn't have all the heights, only has 1.5 and three millimeters. You can also use this connector with uh, FPCs. So if you want a flex cable, um, they do tell you like, here's how you do the stiffener in order to be able to connect from an FPC to um, a circuit board. Although to be honest, we've seen these mostly with um, PCB to PCB designs. And you know, when I was, I was thinking about like how to describe like, you know, these connectors and how we see them on these really high quality boards from Intel and Raspberry Pi. And I think of it kind of like the YKK, you know, zippers that probably have on your nice coats or your nice jeans or your nice dresses. Um, if you have a hundred dollar board or even more expensive circuit board or design, and you use like, a, you go with a bad connector, you save 50 cents, but then like, you know, somebody plugs in wrong and like, shears off the connector or like crushes one of the pins the board is now useless and connectors are a really big failure point so having a good quality connector um is worth the investment so that you don't end up by having someone accidentally try to plug something backwards or they don't have it lined up correctly doesn't actually like destroy um because you can easily destroy both sides of the connector if you you know if you don't have a good one and this one is designed specifically you know even beginners can use it i think that's why raspberry pi picked it and what intel edison uses is your maker boards for people who are not super experienced engineers um easy to line up easy to insert easy to remove lots of cycles um but has that high density for use with uh, high power and high current and high speed signals and they're in stock digi so this is the DF40F, uh, um, which I think is a higher temperature version, but uh, the family is is quite large um, with a lot of different sizes, pinouts, heights, et cetera. So you pick the one you need um, and uh, go to town. Enjoy using this to uh, mate and connect complicated boards together with yeah. very slim heights. And I'm going to play a video and then uh, we'll get off to new products over that. Discover the DF40F series from Hirose, a leading solution in floating board-to-board -board connectors. Expertly combining a compact design with unmatched performance, it's the connector of choice for forward-thinking platforms. Let's explore the standout features of the DF40F series. 
It uniquely adapts to misalignments in X and Y directions, thanks to its innovative floating design with a range of plus or minus 0.3 millimeters. With its slim 0.4 millimeters pitch and 3.68 millimeters width, this connector is a testament to space efficiency. It's compatible with the DF40T, allowing for versatile stacking height options from 3.5 to 6.0 millimeters. Designed with automotive applications in mind, it can endure temperatures up to 125 degrees Celsius. Need speed? The DF40F delivers. It supports data rates like PCIe Gen 4 at 16 gigabits per second transmission. From automotive applications to medical tech, wearables, notebooks, tablets, and portable gaming devices, the DF40F series ensures versatile and dependable connections. Stay ahead of the curve with the DF40F series connector. For deeper insights, visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Hirose Electric, connecting the future. Hi, on MPI.